And a very warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a beautiful one indeed because we are so privileged this morning to welcome our next guest who really needs no introduction, but if something does need to be said, I'm sure that he can do a better job than anyone else because he's celebrating 45 years on stage and uh, with it, I mean, taking into consideration at least 7,000 times being on stage and not one performance and one production being the same as the other. And he's got a brand new show called The Echo of Noise that looks back at uh, who the, the, all the people that have helped him throughout his life until today from his father, Hannes Ace, his mother, Helga Bussell, his grandmothers, his teachers, his passions, Sophia Lauren, censorship, false eyelashes, he says as well, and making a noise when everyone else demanded silence. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to welcome His Royal Highness, ah. Peter Dirk Ace. Come on. It's great to have you back. Thank you. After that introduction, I should be scrubbing like the floors. Did, yeah. you, did you like it? I, 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 I did. made it especially just for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ask you, after 45 years, so many, many shows, is there one word that you can think of that summarizes your career, your life? If you had to describe it in one word, what would that be? Survival. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's about survival. You know, you're as good as what you did last night. It's like a restaurant, you know, mm. if you go to a restaurant, the food is not so good, your tummy works and it's easy like any, but you've just got to know 100%, 100% all the time, and I'm still working hard to get there, wow. maybe 99. Kidding so me. it's survival and hard work. Before we look at these pictures, I want to ask you about a philosophy that you have, that the show that you're on now is the first and the last. Why do you believe that? Well, I always say the, the, the performance I give at this moment, like tonight, yeah is the last one and the first one because it's different, because there's a different audience, mm -hmm. different energy. Um, the whole world changes from minute to minute. So as opposed to plays, which are very specifically structured to be really, truly not changing day by day because it is a framed experience, mm -hmm. what I do is very much a conversation. It's from my mouth to your ear. Mm -hmm. And so every day there's a different ear. Speaking of uh, from your mouth to our ears, please, just explain to us some of these pictures that we're looking at right now and what was happening at that particular time in your career. That's when I started Adapt or Die, my first one-man show in 1981. The censor board had banned all the plays, so I couldn't do plays. And they said to me, you must still play. You know, people mustn't say that. <laughs> and so I was the stage manager. I had, so there I was with my cross eyes and traveling around the country with boxes and props on the stage so that if the police came, I could grab the box and run like hell. So, but always with a smile. That's the thing that kept me going. And that, that's a picture of me on Bloberg Strand on the day that Nelson Mandela was freed from jail, the 11th of February, 1990. And I just think to myself, yeah, both me and South Africa look a lot different today, but I quite fancy that. <laughs> yeah. I quite fancy with table mounted in the background. I love a, it. A very, very weird fact that I learned about is that your dad thought that if you wore long pants, you wouldn't be able to sing anymore. Well, as a little boy, I sang boy soprano, who is up there, yeah, no. um, and always in the short pants. And all, the, all my friends at school had long trousers. <laughs> pa, ik wil a long broek dra, nie is te jong. Ek is 13 jaar oud, pa. <laughs> and then I just thought, well, pa doesn't want me to wear long pants because then my voice will break and then I couldn't sing. You know, I used to sing for weddings. I got paid a guinea, that was one pound, one shilling. Pa kept the pound and I got the shilling. Oh, hey. manager fees, right? <laughs> and there's my pa. That's there's me picture. and my, my pa, pianist and uh, very strict man, you know, that's the whole thing about the echo of a noise is the noise of argument. Yes. Me f fighting with my dad. I think many young men, children have a problem with parents and discipline. Mm. Um, and it's, it's worrying at the time, but when I look back now, so many good pieces of advice came out of that relationship. And we're we're going to tap into that a little bit later on, okay. so we're going to ask you to stay a little bit longer, but thank you so I'd much like for to. being here thank this you. morning. And of course, the echo of a noise is at Theatre on the Bay until Saturday, the 18th of July starts today. Mm -hmm. Get your tickets on CompuTickets. There. CompuTicket, they are available. Right now, it's time for us to take a look at the morning's headlines. Oh, you can make my day. 